Welcome to the instruction video of the LearnBoss Pancreatico Jejunostomy. For the artificial organs made by the Heidelberg team, see the link below. This Bloomgard anastomosis starts with three metra sutures. These metra sutures follow the same steps. First, transpancreatic, then through the bowel, then transpancreatic again in the other direction. Arm 1 will hold this cranial metra suture to improve the exposure. Now the second suture runs transpancreatic through the bowel and transpancreatic again on the other side of the duct. This is the central metra suture. Be careful not to go through the pancreatic duct. The third arm also holds this suture to improve exposure to the anastomosis and the working field. The caudal metra suture follows the same steps and the positioning is such that a, almost a running suture line appears between the bowel and the pancreas. After these metra sutures are placed, we move to the next phase and we tie the metra sutures. Remember not to cut them because we will use them later during the buttress sutures. Before tying the central metra suture, insert a stent in the pancreatic duct to prevent the duct from closing off by tying the suture too tight. All metra sutures are tied down, the bowel will be snugged against the back wall of the pancreas. Now we move to the duct to mucosa phase where we first make an enterotomy that corresponds with the size of the pancreatic duct. Make sure to be inside the lumen, optimize your exposure and then start with duct to mucosa suturing. The LearnBot method requires five sutures corresponding with the shape of a star. So the posterior duct to mucosa sutures are the legs of a star and should be placed accordingly. In the next phase we place the buttress sutures and we aim to fold the bowel over the pancreas. Ideally the bowel would fold over the pancreatic capsula anteriorly. For more information you can visit the EMIPS website. And thank you for your attention. You can stay up to date by subscribing to the channel.